Okay, in this video we're checking out the new Diatone uh, GTR MK3. This is a special edition uh, version of the the uh, GTR series, and I did a review, I think, on the GTR 530, I believe, you know, a while back, and I actually had a, a similar bottom uh, bottom plate frame here, but it had a top plate and not this pod here. Although they did include a plastic pod similar to this one, but this one is actually TPU printed, not injection molded plastic. So I think that they wanted to do this for a different kind of colors. Uh, so this is a special edition of the GTR. So it's got um, a similar frame, but the parts are a little bit different than this one. It's got the same um, flight stack here. It's the Mamba 30 by 30 stack F4 flight controller and uh, VLLE S uh, D-Shot 600 ESCs. I think there's uh, these are the 35 amps, and then they have they have the TVS Unify here on a board here with the buzzer. Those are all pretty much the same. And then the Lollipop 2 antenna here, which is I believe going into a micro FL connector underneath this little RF shield. Uh, the Differences here are going to be on the motors. We have some Mamba motors here now, the 2207s. These are 2650 kV. Pretty nice. I think these are made by 3BR, I believe. Very smooth motors. Interesting that they went with a 2207 in this one and not a 2306. I think most racers like the 2306 and most freestylers like the 2207s or 2208s. So, kind of interesting there. The Obviously, the the frame is very different here. It's got this kind of printed something on here. I don't know what exactly what this is. If it's a if it's painted on, printed on, something like that. But this is carbon fiber. It's got this kind of laminate material on both sides of the uh, carbon. So um, I think that's what makes it a special edition. It's got this picture of a I think it's a cat or something here. Very interesting. Um, the other difference here on the frame is the way uh, the motor wires you can see here go into this board here. So this is like a PDB board. So instead of the wires going all the way through and then around and then in you know inside here and then to the ESCs, they actually go into this board right here. So the wires go into this board and then the actual traces are inside this PDB. It's very interesting that that's you know inside here and then there's this nut and the screw here so not a lot of space here so I'm wondering how much is actually is uh, what's actually going on inside here you can't see that and then you can see where the wires come out again over there and then those short wires then get soldered onto the ESC but as you can see it's a really clean look you now the wires are very clean so you have those short wires here yeah, uh, nothing here on the arm, and then inside here another short wire that goes to the ESC. You see also the, the short wires here. They go to the other board that's in the front. So they have one of these in the back arms, and again one of these in the front arms here. So pretty different. I've never seen anything like that. Um, so just really make for a super clean-looking build, as you can see here. And then um, typical uh, diatone here. They have the little uh, plug here so I soldered on. And I just plugged a little uh, FreeSky uh, RXSR receiver. That's just there. And then I just uh, zip tied some of the antenna wires on here with some heat shrink. It's uh, pretty normal for a diatone. And then the other um, difference that is new is the FPV camera. This is from Cadex. And. It's going to be kind of hard to see there, but you can see there's the SDR2 Plus Freestyle version, interestingly enough, not the race version. No, they're using the Freestyle camera and not the race camera for this. And this is really a racing frame, so I'm kind of wondering why they went with that decision, because between the uh, Freestyle camera, the SDR2 Freestyle, and the race version, the Freestyle version has more latency than the, the race version. So, kind of an odd decision there as to why they did that, but... That's what they went with. That's what they got here. It's got it's the, uh, I believe the paint color there is the camo edition. It's camouflage paint on the camera, though from the outside you can't really see it anyway. But yeah, this um pretty nice 
and clean looking build overall. So I wanted to show you this before I go and fly it. Uh, it's been raining a lot lately, so who knows, I might just be crashing this into a big puddle of mud and it won't look as pretty after I'm done with this. So I wanted to make sure you guys had a good look at this before I <laughs> go and actually fly and possibly wreck it. So very nice build. I, know, I don't know what the price is going to be. It's not even up on the Diatone website yet. It doesn't even have a pitoon or anything. I don't think anything's flashed on here. So it's just very pre-production as far as I know. Early sample here. So I'm going to be doing some tuning. I have a basic flash of 355 on here with just st stock pids. And we'll see how this does in the uh, flight demo. But uh, you, you know, sometimes they, they, it works fine. Sometimes it doesn't want to see. But yeah, it's, um, you know, not really... A whole lot different here. Obviously, a special frame with the this new PDB here for the motor wires, new motors, of course, and camera and pods. So, you know, well, a few things are different, but the bottom part of the frame is pretty similar. I think that's why they're going with the GTR name because that's you know that's where this frame comes from. This from the GTR series, but it's a special edition. So anyway, that's enough of me rambling on about this. I'll go ahead and set this up and take it out to the field and we'll go and fly it.